Hi, so today we're going to have a look at the Bellavachi Leg Massage. You're going to first effleurage on your oil and make sure you cover the area completely because where your oil is, your cup will be able to glide. After your effleurages, we will always do the upper leg first before going to the lower leg because we don't want to create lymphatic traffic. So you're going to first squeeze the cup, set it down and with light suction, glide upwards because we want to drain the lymphatic paths. If you want to see what it looks like without my hand around the cup, it's just very lightly draining the lymph upwards towards the lymph nodes. Make sure you cover the full area. The next movement that is very nice, especially when there's cellulite or fluid retention present, is the fish bite. So you're going to, as you glide, squeeze and release the cup. This has got the least sensation and it doesn't create any kind of pinching sensation and is very relaxing. But it also propels the fluid that will help with fluid retention in the legs. You can use your super cup for faster coverage on this area. Your next movement would be your kneading movements and you can create a figure of eight with a cup. So that means you will set the cup down and then with your hands around it, you can do a figure of eight on the size of the legs and over the hamstrings. This is a very nice kneading movement and your hands positive pressure along with the cup's negative pressure gives a wonderful soothing sensation to the client. Immediately the circulation is boosted. Then there's the vibration movement. Very nice for sports massages to help to loosen up the tissues. And your hand is literally working around the cup and your other hand is just shaking it. And then we will always end off again with drainage. If you lose suction, just squeeze the cup again and continue gliding. But make sure you always have hand cover on the client. Moving on to the lower leg. After your effleurage, you will take your cup and then just above the ankle where you can get suction, squeeze it and then you will glide upwards to drain the lymph. If it's a very petite client, your cup can be a little bit more linear instead of round flat to work upwards with the leg. So we drain towards the lymph node. After your drainage movement can, comes the fish bite where you squeeze and release. Your hand around the cup is very important for the relaxation of the client. This is especially great for pregnant women with fluid retention in the legs that you can do from the second trimester onwards. Then we're going to do our kneading movements. Wonderful to have this for sports people, people that get cramps in their calves. Very wonderful to release the spasms. And your vibration movement. off again with drainage.